Even though most of our podcast tour is sold out, the fear of being broke and unemployed never leaves us. A few weeks ago, we debated joining the army. That didn't wash too well with us. Too much work for too little pay. So this week, we are discussing whether or not we join the Gardaí. Lads, would you join the Gardaí? Gardaí. Gardaí Shia <laughs> Me, no, never entered my head, lad. Not for a second. Because when I came out of school, I was going around with the long hair and the beard. I was more, you know... Man Friday, Robinson Crusoe job. <laughs> you were like you were like one of those, you know, not a guard but kind of a sheriff of your own destiny, lad. With the long hair going around with a cowboy hat and just a, a gunslinger. Yeah, if I could have been a cop in like, you know, Texas. Yeah, in the eighteen hundreds, maybe. Uh, Johnny, you thought about joining the guards? I think I think it's not just me. I think it's a lot of people in Ireland think about joining the guards because if you go to college and it doesn't really work out for you. Or if you've kind of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't mean that. I don't, I'm going to backtrack there. I don't mean that as in like, you know... When all, you've all, no career options, yeah, join the Gardaí. <laughs> that's kind of what it... For me, it was anyway. Um, was like, I went to college. It hadn't worked out. And I was like, shit, I'm not going to be able to get a good job mm. because I've not got a good education. And then I was like, okay, the army, the guard, something that I can get into that you don't need, you know, university or, or college status to get in. Mm. And to be honest, I thought I'd make a class guard. You've got a good big neck. See, that's the thing. <laughs> I've, I've, I, and I've had it said to me a few times is you've the head of a guard. Mm, that is a real thing. The head of a guard. Do you remember we were doing a video once and we borrowed a guard costume? Yes. And you put it on yes. and walked around the place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your fair looks like a guard. Can, can, can we just touch on that for a second? No, because I, I, I've got that in my notes as well while you brought it up. Go on. We done a music video. It was actually Johnny's song from like, oh my God, it must years be ago. eight years ago, I'd say. And it was like a Christmas song. Yeah, shite. But we dressed up. As, <laughs> it wasn't his, be, his best work. Yeah, shite. Um, we dressed up as cops for a music video and like f- proper cop uniforms. Now, we had everything except the badge on the hat, like, but we had the jacket and all that. And we went down the road from, from where we both used to be living together at the time and uh, went into this one's garden. And I was like, sure, you want more minders in the garden? Johnny's like, nah, of course not, lad. Sure. <laughs> she knows me, sure. It's grand. Like, you know, she knows, she knows the crack anyway. I'd be at, like, you know. Next thing, your one pulls in to her own driveway. Two of us are dressed in full cop uniforms in her garden. She drives straight around the house. I waved at her. He waved at her. She drove straight around the house, back out the driveway and down the road. And Johnny was like, Jeez, that's a bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> And then, around three minutes later, the actual cops arrive on the scene. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? And we were like, oh, we're doing a music video. Who'd you get them uniforms off? And Johnny only knew the cop's first name. So he was like... Hey. Yeah, let's just say the guy's name was Mick, whatever. He was like, Mick who? Yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't know his second name. <laughs> <laughs> and they eventually, I think they, they made us finish up, did they? Uh, we took him off and then they left. We put him back on again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the, that's the thing. But no, I did. I, I I genuinely thought about... I applied. I applied. Yeah, look, not but, dissing the guards, but if you come out of school and you don't get a third level education or like a trade... It's a great career to have because it's, it's got... It's one it, of the better careers. Yeah, yeah, it's got good prospects. You've yeah. got your pension. People do join the guards though that do have a great degree as well. So. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. You can, you, mm. That's why I went to... I'd done legal studies mm. in Waterford. In the Dome Bar in Waterford. <laughs> but that's what I went to study with thinking, I'll do this degree... And then if I don't want to be a solicitor, I can just be a guard. I can yeah. go into the guards. So that was what yeah. I was thinking. But do you think that if you were a guard, people would treat you differently though? That's what kind of put me off. Oh, in your normal life? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Like, people are sketchy straight away. If like you introduce your friend, you're like, oh, that's Martin there. He's a cop. They're like, fuck. My car tax is definitely in debt. Yeah, do, you know I mean? do you know what I mean? Oh, I never booked a car in for the NCT. <laughs> people are sketchy and they probably do treat you different. Like... Martin's going to kick down my door. Wait, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, TV license. Oh, no. <laughs> you're immediately wary of everything. 100% people would definitely treat you differently. Yeah. I, I, I fully agree there. But, you know, we need cops too. Yeah. So, the On Garda Shiokana website says, Policing is an exciting job with unique demands. It is a challenge and exciting role and one which continually presents new and interesting experiences. Wow. <laughs> um, so the fields it has is, is community policing, traffic, uh, public order, detectives, investigating organized crime, fraud, and drugs offenses. You, Smacks, you definitely have been traffic whore. Yeah, I, 100%. That, that like, is, the, come on, they're the guys most likely to get offered a bribe. Like, 
<laughs> not saying they take it, but like that's definitely. Um, I remember like when I was a young lad going to now I mean like I was probably 17, 18 I just stopped going to teenage discos and then there was one of the lads uh, in town had a band and he was running like a band gig you know Battle of the Band shop yeah. in the Abbey Hall in Ross Gray and the guy was a big unit at the time and he was like you know I'm fucking still big but um, he was like oh would you like do security and I completely let this get to my head and was like no one bother so I got my cousin Gavin <laughs> my cousin Gavin who's actually a security guard right I got him with me and I was like no, let's dress fucking completely in black. And he was like, yeah, yeah, Grant, I'll just wear me normal fucking security uniform. I was like, yeah, Grant. So I went off, got this really tight black t-shirt, got the pants and everything, stood on the door like, and was like <laughs> stopping everyone, even people I knew, like fellas who were in my class. I was like, you weren't drinking now or at No. They were like, seriously, Johnny, like fucking, what, what is wrong with you? And then like we let them in anyway, you know, the night was going well or whatever. And then every 10 minutes, I like, burst into the bathroom. Like, What's going on in here? <laughs> And I really let it get to my head. So, like, that was me at a battle of the bands doing security. So, if I was a cop, oh my God. I, I think would, you would be the worst guard. I in would Ireland. be an absolute prick. Me and mine was in uh, South Africa recently. Mm. And he got stopped. He broke a red light speeding or something. Mm. And he got pulled over. And they're like, giving out to him. And he's like, there's a fiver. And they're like, sound, drive on. Yeah, oh, that's South Africa though. Yeah. I don't think that'd work here. A fiver, definitely not. <laughs> no, no, no. Do you know, I don't know. If you're to be a detective, see, then can you wear your own clothes? Yeah, yeah. plain clothes detective. Yeah, oh, lad. Imagine two of us rocking in in suits, lad. Oh man, Starsky and Hutch. <laughs> but like, no, you'd still come in in shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah, <laughs> percent. Change the guard of uniform to shorts, and, and and you got me. But the one thing as well that that did put me off was like back. When I was joining anyway, and it still is still is the rule now, but it is up for debate, is you couldn't have tattoos that were visible. Yeah. Um, so at the moment, the rule is you can't have tattoos on the face or anywhere visible above a collar. Mm. That's fair enough. And, if you ha- and I think if you have them below the elbow, you have to wear a long sleeve shirt. Mm. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not wearing a long sleeve shirt all the time because obviously my tattoo comes kind of right to my elbow. like So that put me off as well. And, and this is the problem I have. Our cops don't look mean enough. Right, because you're not allowed to grow a beard. You you are not allowed to mm. have a beard if you're a cop in Ireland. You have to be clean shaven. No, checked it today. There was a motion put forward uh, in 2017 by the Kildare to the G GRA, I think, which mm. is the the Guard of Regula- Regulatory Representative Authority. Association. Yeah, that's it. Whatever. <laughs> uh, you know, small thing. You want to look like one of them lads in like Black Ops. I'm telling you now. Remember we're in Albufeira. Remember the Portuguese cops. Yeah. You would not fuck with them boys. Beards on them And they're all Like hench They're all real muscly like. Also carrying machine guns Yes Again <laughs> That as well And big bats But Like you can't even have a beard And you have to have your Your hairline at the back I think it's a quarter of an inch Or half an inch Above The back of your collar So no rat's tail Yeah so uh, <laughs> <laughs> The so mullet like, yeah, The mullet maybe, is outlawed Yeah so you couldn't You couldn't have a mullet Or a beard So that was another reason I didn't really want to join And the uniform Shit can we get onto the uniform Yeah let's go straight to the uniform The uniform is Fairly bad Like you know, there is some fabulous Bangardas out there. And I'm not, you know, I'm not judging them, you know, by looks here. Right? But like, geez, hard to have a nice arse in those pants. Impossible. And the big boots, like. Impossible, lad. Isn't it gas that, like, mm. guards have big, heavy boots? Yeah. Straight away, like, you know, if you're running after someone, giving chase to someone, surely a pair of Asics yeah. would be more in line. <laughs> you know, other other brands are available. But surely that's, that makes more sense to have, like... Comfortable yeah. running runners. Even in your Nike Air, I'm faster than yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But like? it's more for kicking down doors, is it like? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but maybe they should just have them in the car and then they're like, okay, we need to kick the door down. Put on the big boots there, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were out in Dublin one time <clears throat> and walking down Abbey Street, a bit of caffling going on when the boys is up on the other lad's back, etc., and the, these couple of guards and the band guard, I suppose you can't say band guard anymore. Sorry, I'm just sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. One, one, two, two male and one female guard, kind of pulled us over and said, "Hey, hey, cut it out, like you know, calm it down." And my mate Leary just turned to your one and was like, "Jeez, love, that outfit does nothing for your hips." <laughs> oh <laughs> God! Well, I thought she was going to bait him to death S- there and then. Slap the bar across the, the back of the leg. But the guard uniform is not flattering. I think it's not flattering. It's definitely not flattering, but I don't think it's very imposing as well. Like, yeah, the fleece now can get very bobbly and yeah. Do you, know what oh. I mean? you look like you're wearing a fucking super value. Nobody yeah. is scared of anybody wearing a fleece. Yeah, 
<laughs> see the American cops with like their fitted black uniform and they have like you the see, bat hanging off the side, yeah. handcuffs. You uh, want you want your handcuffs jiggling. As a man, <laughs> as a man who wears a lot of black, black can be intimidating at times. So that's why I think our cop uniform should be like pure black, skull and crossbones job on it. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Be like, don't don't mess with us. Yeah, but Ireland is are the beards. Irish cops like are more. It's a lot of like, well, how are you going? You know what I mean? You yeah. Have to, you have to. How do I fill out my form for a passport? Like, yeah. You ha- yeah. Like, mm. you're probably not living that far away from where you're policing. You mm. have to get on with everyone. You have to know everyone. No, you can't be everyone's best friend because you're going to do them for tax or whatever, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the problem, I think the problem with the cops here is, and like, I I, I think they're great. Like, they do a great job, whatever, like, and, and we need them so much in society. Like, definitely the way mm. things are going. But I don't think they're respected enough here. And I think that's what puts off some people in joining the guards like when we were in America mm. we went into a Dunkin Donuts typical like there was cops in there it's like like in the <laughs> films but like they pulled up parked like right outside yeah. where there was like you know they probably weren't allowed to park but they're cops so they can do what they want what you gonna do yeah so they went in and while in the queue they went up to collect their coffee and um, the cash right, the girl at the cash register was like no some the guy, that guy there already paid for it oh. so our respect someone else who was in the line getting coffee had paid for the Paid for the American cops' coffee, mm. yeah. Just you know, as a sign of respect, I suppose, or it, just yeah. to show like, appreciation. In a big city, it's not like they knew each other. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In Ireland, like you know, if somebody was like, "Oh, he paid for that," they'd be like, "They're after lacing that was stricken in." There's <laughs> 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 something gone into that coffee. Totally I, different. I mean, like imagine you see you see the movies like U.S. cops with the big aviator sunglasses. Mm. You know, imagine an Irish guard that wearing sunglasses pulled you over. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. Do you know what speed you were doing? Do you know you look like a girl? <laughs> <laughs> Take them off, you know, and we have a chat. Yeah. You're and not the a hat. cool hand Luke, Ned. Cool hand Luke. Yeah. The hat. Yeah. It's all about the hat, lad. If a guard isn't wearing the hat, I don't think it's legally binding. Don't look the, <laughs> don't don't look the same. Um because everyone, like students and all, are always like trying to rob a guard a hat. Yeah. That's like the top thing in Ireland you can rob after road signs. The big thing here is like you go to any festival, like the cops are like celebrities. Yeah, get there's, a photo. There's with like the women coming over being like, Oh, can I pull on the hat and get a photo with you? Like Fucking what's wrong with you like I'm telling you I'd say the guards do some damage Do you reckon uh, Coppers Cops Teacher, student, nurses, guards Yeah boy. don't you Guards get into coppers for free Yeah show the badge Show the badge lad Show the badge oh, Is yeah. that true Yeah let us know I want to know <laughs> We get in because we Got to work hard <laughs> You know you don't need to be a cop But like what makes a good cop The thing, the thing about being a cop is Like you're never going to be Obviously you can't be a cop In your own area Because mm. you can't be like You know Saying to your neighbour Hey I know we have a body buried in the backyard. <laughs> like, you know, shouldn't be doing that, Jim. You know, that <laughs> where's Mary? We haven't seen her for a while. <laughs> yeah, and plus, like, you can't. I think if you're a guard in a different, obviously, you get moved to a different districts. So, say we're from Care, say we got Punt and Limerick. Like, you're more impartial. Yeah, but I don't think you can. It's like being a teacher. I don't think you can live in that town. No, because you're going to pull someone over, and they're like, yeah. "But, but I know your mother." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're <laughs> guilt tripping you, like. Yeah. Yeah, I think the good cops. Though do get involved in the community like a really good guard get like say in our club I, and I think it's probably the same in most clubs they've got a guard who've, who've, who's transferred in mm. Mm. we got one thankfully he's a fantastic hurler <laughs> and that definitely helps but like there is certain lads who won't come train really <laughs> our training dropped off when he joined <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't think that's fair to attribute I know, no, I know. We want, okay. we want, we want to attribute that, but there definitely was one fellow who was avoiding training. Okay, it was an interesting coincidence. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, oh, it was probably, probably a complete coincidence, and yeah. Johnny yeah. Smack, speaking of training, do you think you would pass the guard of fitness test? Well, I tell you, sorry now, and I don't mean any disrespect to any of the guards out there. Gee, I'm going to get pulled over some amount. Some of them don't look that fit, and I'm not one to be preaching about fitness. <laughs> so. My thing is There's not too many Vin Diesels Driving around like, yeah. So, yeah Johnny Do you want to tell them About the fitness test And then I, I, I'll, I'll give my take you on it You have to do a beep test And then for men You have to do 32 sit ups In a minute And 22 push ups And there's no time restriction um, Yeah I would say 22 push ups Like is fairly handy For I would say most hmm. Most people would, would Manage that With yeah. no time restriction Yeah My thing is That's grand Right, you do that fitness test and, and, and everybody passes because you're up in the Garda College and you're doing a bit of activity and you're fit and all that. Right? You do this test and then you're like, oh yeah, you passed the fitness test. Do they ever fitness test them again? Is there a continuous assessment? I don't, I don't think, think so. we I don't think I don't think there is. 
I very much doubt there is knowing some of the lads I know that are in the guards. Yeah, but lad, I think it's tough. Like, talking to some of the guards, like you're working really unsociable hours. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then shift work, yeah. Shift work. You end up hating shite. Mm. Then you, end, you want to, be, you know what I mean. You end, you want to bring the sandwiches with you in yeah. your squad. Now some stations have like gyms and stuff like that, but I would say a lot of them don't. Like if you're in a rural town, they're not going to have facilities like that. Like so, you are sitting around. You're in some rural places. You're probably bored. You're just sitting down and eating, doing fuck all. Like. Ah, uh, you probably have a load of paperwork and arson to be catching up on. There must be some amount of paperwork. Dose. I'd never arrest anyone. Be too much bother. <laughs> I didn't want to fill, fill out the forms. Go well, on, you're all right. There's a uh, physical competence test, and this test involves doing things like walking along a balance beam. Always, always crucial for catching catching drug 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 smugglers. Lifting a car wheel and carrying it three meters, jumping over a mat one meter wide. And dragging a 45 kg mannequin two meters. Now I reckon my lunch would be 45 <laughs> kg. You say that 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 is that is a malnutritioned mannequin. I was 45, to get. 45 kg is like a medium sized Labrador, <laughs> and mm. to be able to drag it two meters, like if a car is on fire, we're going to need to get more than two meters away from it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Do you think here was something when I was thinking about this topic that that popped into my head was. Nowadays in Ireland, I think the opinion has changed rather than years ago. Like, the Gardaí were much more respected. I think nowadays, right, with the advancements in social media and camera phones, if you go online, you'll definitely see somebody, yeah. like, someone being like, ah, look, he's ripping, he's, he's being too rough, and someone's video on it. Like, I hate mm. to see that first of all, but, like... Yeah, but sometimes they are too rough. Yeah, but, like, hey, uh, you know what I mean? You don't go, you don't go through a couple of years of time for more, you want to get out and fuck shit up. <laughs> but I guess it's like, Anthony, if someone is pushing your buttons, you're only human. Exactly. Yeah. When exactly. you finally do catch them, you want to pin them down. Yeah. Mm. I do remember um, seeing a guard take out his bat on once. It was very funny. There was this lad who was... <laughs> Sounds funny. Yeah, go on. <laughs> and he bet their shit out. <laughs> so it was in uh, Carrick Macross and there was this lad uh, trying to... He'd been refused entry to a pub. So he uh, got mad, picked up this uh, chair outside the pub and started baiting it against the window. Well, you can't be at that. Yeah. So a guard came along, seeing what was going on. Your man took off running. The guard whipped out the baton and as your man was running, just a genuine member of the public just stuck his leg out and tripped the guy. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and he came up and the guard was just like pinned him down with the baton. I don't think he was struck him, but it was brilliant. Was, yeah. But like, talking ta- ta- about that, like the, the public should be helping out the guards more so than like giving out about them all the time. Yeah, but there are still a bit like, I, I had old people say stuff to me. There used to be catchphrases like, you know, once a guard, never a man. Like some what? old people used to really hate the guards. Wow. Yeah. Like I mean, people, old old people don't like you who had a real suspicion of the guards. I think guards are much more. It's okay to like guards are much more accepted in society now. I think yeah. I think publicans have a bit of niggle with the guards. <laughs> and it, and yeah. if you're if you're at home and you're looking for something good to watch, it, you can see the guards take the, the care guardy take on the care publicans in an Aussie Rules match from 1993 Whoa. on YouTube it's on YouTube and I tell you there's a fair bit of niggle in that now yeah. I think that that's very true because like I could have never joined the Gardaí like because we have a pub at home and my mm. earliest memory of the Gardaí are them like raiding the pub drinking after hours mm. like suddenly you have like people running through the house like you know it's like <laughs> trying to avoid getting their name taken <laughs> but see that's it we're all we want the guards to catch like, the, the robbers and all yeah. but like when it comes to after hours drinking Go ahead, to, go ahead to fuck with you. <laughs> Leave it off with you. Come on. We don't. We don't condone, uh, you know, breaking the law here in the Two Chinese podcast. But, but we're flexible about certain things. <laughs> the, see, the height restriction is gone. Mm. Yeah, it used to be a, a big thing. But I don't know. I think you kind of need to be tall. I remember being at a monster final once, and there was a big gang of lads, absolute leery, and there was about a lady guard. <laughs> there was a female yeah. garda, and she was like. All right, lads, please head up the other street there. Head up the Nina Road. And all the boys were like, <laughs> Nina Road, me bollocks. Like, you know? <laughs> it's tough, like. I have a friend who's a female guard and you wouldn't mess with her. Oh, Jesus, no, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just saying, I, I don't know. I think there should be some sort of height restriction on yeah. being a guard. I asked me other... I asked if, me. if you're going to be doing crowd control stuff. Yeah. Mm. Obviously, you could be a class detective or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you probably need to be... Seem to be physically imposing, I suppose. I asked, I asked my other half this morning, would you ever, would you ever think about being a guard? And she was like, I- if I could bear arms. Yeah. So, like, if you think of some of the stuff that's happening in Ireland and some of the crazy mm. stuff you hear, and even abroad in the UK and stuff like that, like, 
it's the old adage people have been talking about for years like you show up to a shooting with a bat yeah but there is an arm, w- there is an armed response unit yeah yeah but what, what if they're not there in time like, like not enough of them I'd say like there's one there's an armed response unit in care like alright but like what if you're not in a place where there's an armed response unit like genuinely if you heard it there's after minute shoot out downtown and you're up in the station how often is the shootout happening <laughs> listen Ross Gray lads <laughs> no I'm only messing um, but like it could happen Johnny it does happen do you think the guards should have guns yeah probably I think I think it'll probably cut out a lot a lot of fucking shit. Like genuinely, if I'm a guard, right, and I'm sitting up in the station, say me and you, two of us are up in the station, right, and we're the ones who are on call for the night, and you get yoked, just after me shots fired down in the square in care. Yeah. The two of us are looking at each other. Genuinely, I'd be going, fuck it, lay it off. I'm just going to the jacks there and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I dropped something there, run out of the room. Like, would you go down? And be like, okay, all right, I'll sort this out. Like, you know, break it up, lads. Yeah. Break it up now. Let's, uh, I'll pepper spray the whole lot. You. Uh, you've enough done now. Leave yeah. it off. Yeah. Leave it off. Away home with you now. Go yeah. on away. Put it. Put that down. Yeah. Put that down. Like some fella have a shotgun. Leave it down. At the end of the day, like it's your life, and I know, I know it's your job, but like, yeah, would you be would you be going? Oh, lovely shoot up, right? Right, grab the pepper spray. We sort this out. You would not. I, I put you in the book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has the pen and pencil out now, lads. Yeah. And once you go into that book. Yeah, like, <laughs> I I think the America is kind of a cautionary tale when you give the police too much access yeah, to weapons and stuff that, like that. That no. is the thing. There's, and there's just a, like anecdotally, I don't know how tough it is to get into the cops in America mm. because they don't seem quite as educated as the Irish cops. Yeah, no. certainly not. No. To get into the Gardaí, you have to obtain an Irish Leaving Certificate with a grade D three minimum. That's a pass in five subjects at ordinary level. So like that means just yes. pass your leaving cert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to have two languages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well you have to. Yeah, so Irish and English. Like, you, you, well, no. you could have uh, you could have English and French. You could have Irish and French. The, the there used to be the requirement to have mandatory Irish, but yeah. it's not the it's requirement not there anymore. Irish and French should be a fair combo. <laughs> <laughs> How did you grow up in Ireland not learn English? Well, yeah. let's let, let's get down to the main thing, Johnny, and that is Wonga cash money. During the first thirty-four weeks of training in Templemore Garda College. Your allowance is 184 euro Jeez. per week. Yeah, but you're in college, like. I know, but that's four euro less than the dole. That's the maximum dole now, is yeah. yeah, but you're getting your accommodation and food, so it's not too bad. All you're paying for is pints. <laughs> pints. You can get too many out of them. Yeah, but you're in college, lad. In Temple Moor. I will say one thing. It seems like good enough crack in Temple Moor. We done a gig for the guards in Temple Moor one mm-hmm. time, and we went up like to do our comedy show. Um, which wasn't get loose this was before this like before and we went up to do a comedy show and thankfully we have the songs and the ability to change a show on a sixpence because they weren't ready for comedy like they were party time at yeah. half time we blew it up and just started lashing out <laughs> tunes <laughs> yeah and they were going bananas they just cleared away all the chairs and it was just this is all, you know it's probably good enough crack up there the second 34 weeks of training at a guard station you're on a contract you're on proper paid in and I have the, the scale here. It starts off, a guard starts off at 30 grand a year. And then it increments every couple of years. And after eight years, there's another one after 13. After 19 years, the maximum a regular guard I can get then is 52 and a half grand. It's nice money. But, but it's bo- a long time getting to, up to that scale. <laughs> no, there's 19 years to get 50 grand. Like you. Yeah, but there's bonuses on top of that. Like. Yeah. Over time. Over time. Aren't they not? Aren't they really strict on overtime now? Though, like it, it used to be the goal. Like everyone's like, join the cops for the overtime. Yeah, I think getting towards the end of the year, the guardy of certain budgets and stuff like that. But you know, but do they get danger money? It's not called danger money, like okay. No, it's just part of it being a guard. Yeah, I know that uh, the well, it's you know if you're serving alongside the border, I know army officials get it. I don't okay. know if uh, the guardy get it or not, but. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. We just want to take this opportunity to thank all the Gardaí out there yeah. for doing a great job. And if you ever see us, leave us off. Leave us off. <laughs> see us doing that, we shouldn't be. You know, advise us. You know, don't arrest us. Lad, all the guards know us. A, a lot, I swear a lot to of, God, a lot of them do. Yeah, some of them do. Anytime I nod at a guard, they're like Johnny, the country, the country ones do. Yeah, like you see it on Crow Park. A lot of the, a lot of the guards up there are probably country lads who are trying mm-hmm. to Dublin, like in there. There, uh, we love you lads do you know what I mean yeah. we, we really do and you know and that we'd be slagging you but we're not having to crack because it's a tough job one thing I'll say lads is if you're a guard you're going to see some bad shit yeah yeah, yeah. and that's something Definitely. that we don't talk about it is it is it is really tough it is serious like as well so. 
if you are thinking about becoming a guard out there <laughs> just prepare yourself for so that we haven't exactly sold it there now yeah, but when, you know. when we say bad stuff we don't mean like freshers week in WIT yeah. like, <laughs> you're going to be called to do some hardcore shit that's, that's the truth you know what I mean so yeah. you have to be under 35 years of age if you want to join a guard as well Yeah, which is are they recruiting at the moment yeah, they're going to take in 800 people for in 2020. There you go. This is basically an ad for the guard. It's not really. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be running away. Lads, if you're a guard out there, get in some correspondence. Let us know what's it like. Is it as bad as we make it out to be? Or are you all just misunderstood? Let us know. 